Good evening and welcome to our service of Compline. This is the St Mary's Childgrove and St Helens Berwick Salom uh, YouTube channel. Uh, in a moment we're going to lay the day before God and ask him to bless. Uh, we're going to pray for the world and there are several people that we're going to pray for specifically. But just a brief note about worship this week. Um, because it's Holy Week, we're going to be sharing the morning uh, prayer and compline with some of our colleagues across um, our benefice and across the cluster. And so tomorrow um, morning and evening, we're very, very glad to welcome uh, our licensed lay minister, um, Mr. Bob Heathwhite, who will be leading us in prayer tomorrow. So as we get ready to meet the Lord, let us quiet our hearts. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made, who made heaven and earth. earth. Most it's merciful God, God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Amen. Amen. O Lord, you have searched me out and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You mark out my journeys and my resting place and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but you, O Lord, know it altogether. You encompass me behind and before and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. So high that I cannot attain it where can I go then from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me. Your right hand hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me. And the light around me turn to night. Even darkness is no darkness with you. The night is as clear as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. For you yourself created my inmost parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are your works, my soul knows well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my form as yet unfinished. Already in your book were all my members written, as day by day they were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. How deep are your counsels to me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I count them, they are more in number than the sand. And at the end I am still in your presence. Glory to the Father and, and to, to the, the Son and, and to the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit. 
as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. I will pour out a spirit of compassion and supplication on the house of David and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, so that when they look on the one whom they have pierced, they shall mourn for him as one mourns for an only child, and weep bitterly over him as one weeps over a firstborn. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Christ himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and to be the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Christ himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. Let us pray. We give thanks to God for this day. For all of the beauty amidst the danger of creation. For all that is good and growing. And for his gifts of grace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for God's world, for all who are affected by the virus, those who work, especially those who work at risk to themselves. And we pray for those who are ill, for Keith in intensive care, for Chris Whittle, for Margaret Whip in her recovery. for Father Damien Feeney. For the Prime Minister, especially as he has been this day moved to intensive care. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for God's church in this period of our exile from our buildings, that we would continue to pray, to read God's word, to grow in all kinds of grace, to show more faith 
and hope and love to God and for God's sake to the world. And we pray in this week in which we celebrate the death and the resurrection of the one who bore all of our griefs. That God would bear the griefs of his creation for a little more. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, as we stand at the foot of the cross of your Son, help us to see and know your love for us, so that in humility, love and joy we may place at his feet all that we have and all that we are. Through Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For, For you, you alone, Lord, Lord make, make us dwell in safety. safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus. For, For the, the night, night is at hand and the day is now past. past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so, so do we, we look, look for you, O Christ. Christ. May God bless us, that in us may be found love and humility, obedience and thanksgiving, discipline, gentleness and peace. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you for tuning in for uh, Compline this evening. And um, please do continue to tune in this Holy Week. And... Um, just a small request. If you have any photographs of crosses or of Easter gardens, would you please be willing to share them with me so that I can create a, a YouTube exhibition of crosses, especially in this period in which we are banished from our buildings, often at their very most beautiful. And so if you could send them to me, um, I'd be very grateful. Thank you very much. God bless.